how to trigger an open and enclosed hi-hat sound with your SPD-SX Pro or any other drum module where you have the ability to use a hi-hat pedal. So you can trigger two different MIDI notes in Ableton Live, which you can't natively with the SX Pro, which is interesting for um, something of this price range. Anyways, um, if you have a pedal position, this pedal position can be used to tell a Max for Live device of mine um, which... Uh, parameter you want to send out, which MIDI note pitch you want to send out with a pitch or with the same pad you are sending in. This could be a pad, this could be a trigger, um, that doesn't, um, that's, that's, that's not a problem at all. Okay, so let's quickly go um, into the logic here. So first of all, we get a MIDI note from the SX, the SX Pro. And this is triggering a um, sample in Ableton Live. Let me quickly switch off my Max for Live device so we can see that natively. So now if I'm just depressing the pedal, nothing is happening and I'm getting the same MIDI note pitch, which is triggering the same sample here all the time. So actually I want to trigger a different MIDI note pitch when the hi-hat pedal is depressed, obviously. I want to trigger a close hi-hat sound. So this is like the, the easy peasy technique here for um, only triggering two samples. You can do positional stuff as well. I will do a second video about that as well. So if you want half open, uh, three quarters open, full open, etc., cetera, um, this could be done via Ableton Live as well with this technique, uh, not using this. You don't need a, actually need a Max for Live device for that, maybe for the scaling. So please have a look because um, there are quite a lot of things um, which you might want to check out. Um, Max for Live devices, I mean. So I made a lot of Max for Live devices, especially for um, handling with a few smaller issues you are getting with electronic drums, electronic pads and Ableton Live. So in this one I just quickly, and I already talked quite a lot, quickly want to cover um, this one issue here, how to get a close and an open two sample sounds when triggering in Ableton Live, Hyatt sounds open and close. Okay, so um, I need to change this um, MIDI pitch I'm getting here this particular MIDI pitch, I need to change this. So what you can do is you can use my high pedal close open sound MIDI note uh, Max for Live device here and you will need to firstly train it. Hey, what kind of MIDI note pitch are you getting from the pad or from the trigger here? So if you routed your MIDI into this track, maybe let's do this in session view, which is sometimes a little bit easier. So if we select here the SX Pro, sorry, wrong channel. If we select here the SX Pro, as an input, we need to set the monitor to in or we need to arm the track to have the MIDI going through this track. So now I can just uh, tell the device, please listen and learn. Sync, I call it. That's why there is an S. Sync to the next MIDI note um, you are getting. So I'm hitting my pad and I can um, see already now I'm triggering A sharp 1, which is the general MIDI standard note pitch for high it open and I now want to say well actually if the pedal is open or close please pitch me uh, give me a different pitch so what I first need to check is like is this whole CC it's MIDI con continuous control data is this being received down below here. So for this, um, you will need to make sure, like per standard, general MIDI standard as well, the pedal is set to send values on this number four. So um, it's number four, and then I'm getting all those different values here from zero up till 90 in this point. So if this one is not moving here, you need to make sure and check on your um, particular drum module what like on which um, number this is sending so you can as well put in a different number in here if you need that and if you're not sure how to find out stuff i have um, a midi monitor device as well so if you put this one on the track and maybe let's zoom it a little bit down 
So if this device sitting on here, it will show you like what MIDI is happening on this particular tr MIDI track in Ableton Live. So I can see I'm sending on channel uh, on CC number four and I'm sending those different values here. Okay, so let's fold this down again and we can turn this off for now. So once I know this is being happening here, I can see what is the highest value I'm getting when my pedal is depressed. And this is value 90 per default on the SX Pro. Usually it should be 127. Don't ask me why Roland set this to 90. You can change this um, in the SX if you want to. Um, where do we need to go? I guess to system. And if we go to pad trigger, um, if we go to Hyatt, there we can see we got um, different values, Hyatt open close border and CC max. So, so the CC continuous control max is set to 90. That's why we are only, only getting um, up to 90 values. You can change this to 127 if you want to, but then your Hyatt open close border, which is, which is what is used, the value, um, the breakpoint, which is used for to changing the Hyatt open close um, sounds internally on your SX. So I would advise you for um, giving it a shot first, just, just stay on this 90 um, value max, 90 value for now. Okay, so now if um, we say, okay, so 90 is our highest value, um, we want to make sure that we set the closed value here to 90 as well. So otherwise, so if this on 127, it's, it's, it's not being triggered because we are only sending the highest value, the maximum value would be 90. So we need to set this to 90, which we can do via um, a mouse, uh, arrows up and down, or just putting in the value via my computer keyboard. So now we can see the picture is moving and we even get a Hyatt sound from the SX Hyatt foot. So um, now, we need to make sure that we want to set um, a different value here um, for each state of the pedal. So we first set the incoming note here. We then set like the switch, like when should it switch? And then we can say, okay, if it's open, we want to send out um, a certain MIDI note pitch. So in this example, we want to send out A sharp one, which is the general MIDI note pitch for open height. So this will trigger my open height sample slot A sharp one. And if it's depressed, it will trigger an F sharp one. And now this is triggering, we can see this down below here. Now it's triggering the Hyatt close. This Max for Life device is included in a full pack um, of several devices all about e-drum triggering with Ableton Live. Max for Life devices, um, you will need Max for Life, which is included in Ableton Live suite version or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live standard. You can always get the free Ableton Live trial, which um, lasts 90 days. If you want to check out those devices from me, please follow the link in the video description to find out more.